Hello everyone. I am Harvinder, Science Faculty at New Careers Academy. Today I'm going to solve a CAPF 2022 science questions and I'll display you notes as well with each question. And also this year's CAPF science questions were very easy and were mostly restricted to few chapters such as optics and cell. So let us start. Okay, first question is cinnabar is an ore of. This is very straightforward question. Cinnabar is more uh, is an ore of mercury, HgS. Okay, so here it is given in notes. Cinnabar is an ore of mercury. Second question: Which of the following correctly represents the materials in prokaryotic and eukaryotic respectively? So here it is. They asked about genetic material in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell type. We know that prokaryotes they lack nucleus, they have nucleoid, and in eukaryotes, the, the genetic material DNA is present in the form of chromatin in supercoiled form. So answer is nucleoid and chromatin, option A. So here it is given in notes. Uh, so these are the differences between prokaryotic cell type and eukaryotic cell type. Nucleolus is a stained material, uh, stained body present in eukaryotic nucleus. Next question is, lysosomes are sacs of the cell filled with digestive enzymes. These enzymes are synthesized by. So see, we know that lysosomes, they contain hydrolytic enzymes, right? And these hydrolytic enzymes, they are produced by Golgi bodies. And then these vesicles, these hydrolytic enzyme filled vesicles, they detach in the form of lysosomes. So answer is option A, Golgi bodies. Next question, the electrical device used to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. Again, very simple question. So this device is generated and here it is given in notes. So electric generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy, option D. Next, calcium oxides react with water to produce liquid lime. It is an example of, so let us see from notes. So calcium oxide is CaO, it combines with water to form calcium hydroxide, which is called slaked lime. So this is an example of combination reaction. So option A is correct, combination reaction. Next question, at the time of short circuiting, the current in an electric circuit. So see, during short circuiting, the current in the circuit, it increases rapidly. So answer is C, increases sharply. So to avoid this, electric fuse is used. So <clears throat> next, which of the following best represent the cell of a meristem of plant? See, meristem tissues are those, meristematic cells are those which continue to divide in plants and they are responsible for growth in plants, right? So these are the cells which have dense cytoplasm. They have, they, they contain cell wall, they are thin walled and large nuclei and there are very few or no vacuoles. So option A is correct. Next question, phloem tissues are mostly responsible for the transport of, this is very simple question, phloem is responsible for transport of food material. So option D is correct. Water and mineral, they are transported by xylem in plants. Okay, next question, which of the following makes bread soft? and spongy when baking soda is added. So see, uh, don't be tempted to mark baking soda as answer. Yes, it's already given that baking soda is added. So the gas which is responsible uh, for a spongy batter is CO2. CO2 is produced by baking soda, which makes batter spongy. CO2 is the answer. Okay, so here it is given. Next, hydrogen, hydrogenation of alkenes can be carried out in presence of. You see, this is an example of uh, addition reaction, hydrogenation, right? So hydrogenation means to add hydrogen. So when we add hydrogen to ethene here, uh, sorry, alkene, ethene is example of alkene, it's done in presence of nickel, platinum or palladium. These three are the catalysts involved. So answer is option D, 
nickel could be platinum or palladium option d is correct next which one of the following oxide react with both acid and bases uh, so there are two in uh, amphoteric oxides which you need to remember and those two are aluminium oxide and zinc oxide so answer is option e aluminium oxide next which one of the following material cannot be used to make a convex lens so see when we talk about lens so that material should be uh, capable of refraction of light right so it can be glass yes obviously glass can be possible okay water can also be uh, used as lens and sapphire sapphire is a gemstone okay so aluminium aluminium is not capable of uh, refraction of light right so option a aluminium cannot be used to make convex lens next the optical phenomena responsible for blue color of the sky is so see sky appears blue this is due to scattering of light light of shorter wavelength is scattered more so option d blue color of sky is due to scattering next question okay the magnitude of focal length of concave lens is 2 meter what is the power of the lens the formula for power of lens is 1 by focal length here it is given 1 by focal length okay and remember it's in meter inverse uh, so since they talk about convex lens uh, sorry concave lens concave lens has a power in negative so we can eliminate these two options which have power in positive power is 1 by f1 by focal length so 1 by 2 is minus 0.5 diopter is correct answer next question which one of the following is not the unit of pressure in very easy question pascal is unit of pressure newton per meter square is unit of pressure these two are the units which are uh, used to describe pressure exerted by solids bar is used to describe pressure exerted by uh, gases and other such units are atmosphere mm of mercury and tar but joules per meter square is not the unit for pressure option c so here units are given okay next questions okay two objects x and y they have equal masses and are moving with speed u and 3u respectively their kinetic energy kx and ky are related as so in this question you need to know only formula for kinetic energy formula for kinetic energy is half mv square kinetic energy of x is half m here speeds are given as u so u square and kinetic energy of y is half 3u square 3 sorry m 3u this is 3 9 10 so so when you solve this you will get a answer as 9 times speed 9 times kinetic energy of x is equal to kinetic energy of y next question so here formula for kinetic energy is given okay next question is the linear momentum of a moving object changes two times then the kinetic energy will change by the factor of so in this question you need to know two formulas first is for linear momentum which is mass into velocity and next is formula for kinetic energy half mass into velocity square so what is given okay uh, so momentum changes by two times so that means momentum doubles momentum double tabhi hoga jab velocity double hogi okay mass remains constant mass won't change so that means velocity becomes 2v so when we put this value here we get four times as answer so the formula uh, sorry so the kinetic energy will change by the factor of 4 so option b okay so these were the questions questions were very easy this time okay. all the best everyone thank you for watching